Just two years ago we ended up buying a piece of land in 12 Lake, Washington. We ended up putting our condo on the market and it sold within 24 hours. He's. Well one of the things we really wanted in our cabin was for it to be simple and minimalist which is one of my wife's and I'd say core values. My name is Lucas. My name is Lena. This is Claire. Come tour the Summit View cabin. One day I was browsing at sea and I came across a gorgeous different than usual cabin plan from a company called Here About Home and we loved it. You can look at the second floor loft here we have very high vaulted ceilings going up to almost 30 feet. Probably my favorite piece in this living room is this stunning Morso M wood stove I think it's unique it fits the space really well and it also does a fantastic job of heating the entire house. Another aspect of this room is this floor to ceiling bookshelf that was included in the plans we purchased we think it's really unique plus it's just extra storage. We currently have a lot of children's books in there. We don't have a TV in this space, but we just hang out together as a family. Yeah, that's Star's living room. Uh, let's move on to the kitchen. On the way to the kitchen we have this little portable island that we got from Ikea. Uh, we have a beautiful view of the mountain from this spot. Uh, it serves our needs really well and then it also has storage here and then we added an outlet on the floor just in case. Well, one of the things that we really wanted for our cabin was for it to be simple and minimalist, which is one of our core values. I would say two starting here with the sink, very simple faucet and very minimalist. Agro, black sink. Black sink that we think goes really well with the light pine ceilings and also the polished concrete floor. You might not immediately notice that there's a full-size refrigerator in this space. The refrigerator is built in, into the cabinets right here. Uh, you couldn't tell that it's a fridge. We're really pleased with it so far. It meets all of our needs. Uh, and we also have a freezer in the utility room, which is very important. We opted for an induction stove. Uh, I have to say that induction is the way to go. It heats up water faster than anything else out there. The microwave will be much more practical for our purposes. And then we have our coffee maker, from Espresso Revel which is probably in the top 3 purchases of my life. These shelves actually came from a tree that we had to cut down on our property. Almost as tall as it looks. I think conventional cabinets up here would take up too much space and would clash with the feel of the cabin. Uh, as far as other storage, we have the usual under the sink, several nice big drawers. Uh, we love everything so far and we hope you enjoy it too. Five years ago I met Lux and we moved into a condo in downtown Tacoma and lived there for about, what do you say? Three CU years. About two years ago we ended up buying land in Trout Lake, Washington. When we found out about the land that was on the market, 
I was a little nervous just because I was growing up in the city. And I really enjoyed the city. Uh, although the idea of living in a small town didn't really bother me and plus Luke has family here close by so I knew we wouldn't be alone. I already knew that Trout Lake Washington had a phenomenal community so it didn't really bother me to make the move. And we ended up putting our condo on the market and it sold within 24 hours and I think that's why we were very fortunate and were able to buy our land and it all started from there. Welcome to the upstairs our cabin. We're in a walk-in closet kind of thing here. Both my wife and I are pretty minimalist. We both work remotely so we don't have a lot of clothes. An amazing personality staircase. Shout out to Ronald from Hanian Construction, which comes up to a second long raft type loft and then the bathroom is just on the other side of this sliding door. It's small mighty and it gets the job done we have tile from floor to ceiling. This bathroom definitely stands for our values of minimalism. We have a custom pine table here that also came from wood on our property, a sink and then faucets coming right out of the wall, which is how we like it, and then a towel rack on this wall and then the toilet there. So it's a small bathroom, but it gets the job done. We're on a septic system here. There's no sewer in town. One thing we did do was build it larger than necessary, which allows us to build another house on this same property if we want and hook it up to the septic system. So, that was a little bit of an added cost, however, it certainly keeps our options open. It's this is our beautiful desk nook area. We have a custom pine slab that's becoming a theme in this cabin. I have a unique remote pharmacist job, which is part of the reason we're able to move back to this small town. And my wife recruits doctors and physicians for a health system in the Pacific Northwest or my mother told us about some unimproved land that our current neighbor had available and was thinking of selling. He offered it to us for $200,000 for two acres off the market, which believe it or not, in that city is a pretty good deal. On the set the seller offered financing at a very high interest rate. At the time we were still living in our condo in Tacoma. I actually think it was you who said, okay, we're selling the condo. The condo is on the market and we'll see what happens after 24 hours. We were able to use that money to pay the neighbor in full, pay for the land, and then also use a little bit extra to pay kind of a down payment for the construction. Uh, the construction, including excavation, septic, water hookup, electrical hookup, everything cost about E350,000 which sounds expensive, but it's, you know, a competitive offer in this area. Alright, welcome, to our amazing bedroom. One of the best features of this whole cabin is these huge windows. We see beautiful Mount Adams that almost seems to be literally in our backyard. We love how big the bedroom is.
We have a king-sized bed and then a kind of multi-purpose dresser that serves as extra clothing and also our changing table and extra baby-related items. At night it's a blind, it comes down, it's a blind. We have a projector on this floating shelf and we can just turn it on and turn on our favorite streaming service. Overall, we love the way it turned out. It's very minimal, but it's very functional. It certainly gets the job done and we really love it. So if you're worried about taking the leap, be open, be flexible. Life is short and you never know what you're going to love. So I highly recommend being very, very flexible with yourself and with your family. Also, if you have an idea, a plan and you want to do something, but it all seems intimidating because you've never found house plans, hired a builder, bought land or even known if you can build on land. Uh, there are so many resources out there. Uh, and just go ahead and make it happen if it's something that you want to make happen. And I think that's also one of the things that I'm most proud of about all of this. Yes, it is definitely an accomplishment to get this place built. If you want to see more photos of our build, head over to Summit View Cabin on Instagram. You can also message us and ask us any other questions you may have. We'll be happy to do our best to answer them, but thanks for looking. Yes, thanks for visiting.